It is it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome to Super Glory today with Corin. When Corin first came out, like this is probably one of my least played characters because when Corin was first released, I wasn't like super into Fire Emblem. Like I played Path of Radiance before, like a good amount of it. I, n I never uh, had time to beat it. But um, like I, I enjoyed the Fire Emblem games, but I recently got a lot more into them. And looking at Corn now, I'm like, wow, they're a lance user and they turn into a dragon and everything. So, that works. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't put a lot of time into this character, as you will clearly see here today. I think they're pretty cool, though. Um, they're really annoying to fight, aren't they? Especially on For Glory, no platforms. They can just spam the lance. They got nerfed in uh, Ultimate. Um, so, I guess there's a lot more cooldown to Side B. One of their best tools. One of the best, like, a pro. That was the worst dash of my life, dude. Uh, <laughs> Down is a great combo starter. Up, to, up air actually kills. You know, Ike has uh, Corn's up air now, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at look at the fade. Did you see it, though? It was kind of clean. <laughs> oh, wow. Neutral B. I think I was looking for air dodge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, there's the tipper effect of side B. Yeah, it's a very powerful move. It's just so annoying to get around. Wow. Well, yeah, and that combo's in an up tilt. See? Right. Pretty decent range. But yeah, Ike has uh, Korn's up air now, which is pretty cool. Ike looks crazy in ultimate. I'm just stoked they have his uh, Path of Radiance skin now. Because I always thought that looked a little better. What did he say? Oh goodness? Is that what he that's what I always say. Oh goodness. No. Yeah, look how spam nice tech. <laughs> it's, it's a very spammable move. No DI for me because I thought I could counter through it. But I just end up getting grabbed again. <laughs> wow, nice 44% combo. <laughs> right. Yeah, Nair is very annoying too, it covers a lot of space, sets him up in the air for like fairs. Or even another Nair. Pixel Tricks messing up this IB right here, okay? Again, very nice tech. Very nice tech. <laughs> Ow, my feet! <laughs> Says Mario. It's just a dragon. <laughs> like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Wait. When playing Awakening, I got like some, uh, some units that turn into dragons. I'm like, oh, okay. Alright. I wonder how Corn acts in their game. Huh. If they, if they transform? Like, or or if they stick with their weapons more often? I'm not sure. I'm actually very curious now. I wonder how that, their game... Oh, right between the legs. Look at that. <laughs> Let's see. I got a couple... Uh, silly up B kills today. You see the uh, taunts right there. Right. Yeah, neutral B has pretty good shield pressure too, but you can just roll past it, but. Alright. Oh, no kind of power shield coming out from Pixel Trick. Wow, what a grab. And again, I'm gonna need so many, so many up tilts. Yeah, I don't like their dash too much. Oh, wow, nice snare. Dumbest fair in my life, but I got away with it. Yeah, you see how fast you can act out of that. Yeah, I guess that's what they changed in Ultimate. Right. Okay. That guy is cool, too. It sends them, like, further. Like, to the opposite direction. So it can be used to, uh... Like, recover. The one thing I really don't like about this character is, like... It's not, like, extremely safe to go off stage in edge guard. Like, for the most part, this particular character, I feel, like, benefits from just keeping people off the stage and, like, ledge trapping and stuff. I think that's their biggest strength. But I like to go off stage with my characters. So that's probably a big reason, a big deterrence to why I never really got too into them. I remember when Smash 4 came out, they were, like, way better than they are now. Like, I know they nerfed their run speed. They nerfed their, uh... Their counter, their counter used to be insane, but they changed it. 
So I remember it was killing a nice cape. I remember <laughs> it would kill people like 12 in the air. It was ridiculous. Like really close to the blast zone, right? But still, I don't. I I, I just remember counter being super busted. Other than that, I, I think probably just they changed like uh, the amount of uh, damage that people would get from moves, right? So I'm not entirely sure on the details. But I remember people were really stoked on Corn, and then they nerfed them, and like <laughs> they're like super upset, right? Okay, some bread and butters come from Mario. Ooh, uh, yeah, Uptill is such a great anti-air. Yeah, see, like it's so hard to get past Corin and like get back to the ledge. Okay, they have no jump, right? Oh, why they drop shield? Uh, that covered so much space. They would have to like jump if I angle it upward too. That was great. Uh, then that would have just covered more players. I think it was like for a shield break or something. Yeah, yeah. Cool character though. Had fun. Again, don't have a lot of time put into this character. So, oh, I got some sick down air kills too. So. Don't worry about that. I think that's the thing that I had the most fun with was uh, just dunking people off stage. <laughs> I had a really good time with that. Yeah, that was really cool. Apparently, Awakening is the easiest Fire Emblem game on the 3DS, from what people have told me. I wonder where uh, Korin's game uh, lands on that scale of difficulty. Huh. Not sure. Were they. From the game, they switched to Donkey Kong. Worst decision of their life. Ha I know there was a game on the 3DS where you would have to buy like both copies to get the full story. Was that Korn's game? Or was that the... Another one, I'm not sure. Oh my god, 100 unanswered. Finally got some damage right there. Right. No, oh, wow. Yeah, I like to throw up the up e. It's not the safest thing ever. And like, you have so many better options. But, I mean, it looks kind of cool, so... It does kill. So, yeah. Like, he turns into a dragon and flies at you. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I hate dealing with Cordonair, dude. It just snubs out so many moves. <laughs> it's so very annoying. Down tilt. Ooh, custom combos, okay. Down tilt, fair to up air. And like a... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there it is. I, I get a cooler one, don't worry. But that was all right. That was all right. Eh, seven out of ten. Oh, well, that went well. <laughs> yeah. Well, that went well. Chill, Corin. No. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I'm getting sick, dude. I really just want to get, like... I want to get it out of the way. I hope I, I just get dreadfully sick for, like, a week before Ultimate comes out. You know? So I don't have to deal with this. I feel awful. When I just uploaded, like, Part 8 of Mario Odyssey. I just sounded disgusting the whole time. <laughs> it was awful, dude. I like this uh, color cord. This one's neat. That's pretty neat alt skins, right? I've seen a lot of the green, like when there's characters where you could be a boy or a girl. I, I've noticed the green one is normally on the boy. And it's such a giant bummer, dude. <laughs> you know, but I wanted to show off all the skins here today. It's kind of the thing I've been doing uh, when it comes to this. I think I might start doing that in Ultimate instead of just picking green, even though I much prefer it. Like, some characters have so many cool uh, old skins, and I just never showed them off before, so. This final revisit, I was able to, though. Dude, I'm stoked for Mario's new old skins, dude. He has the Super Mario Maker one. And he has his, uh, his, like, his wedding outfit. Does Bowser has one? have one? I don't know. He should, right? I wish they gave him a Dry Bones, or a Dry Bowser. You know the one, right? No. Speaking of Ike, ran into an Ike player right here. But yeah, I'm, 
I'm gonna be very stoked to be able to play uh, is the Path of Radiant Cycle, like I said. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, he looks busted in Ultimate Bros. Okay. You see, I, I like I like to jump off the stage and hurt people. <laughs> you know? You get to the Gibbs. And, and the direction Nair sends you, like it while it's great for comboing, on stage or off stage, it's not like very good for gimping, so. Up to LG, top air, right? Yeah, up air Carol's probably shouldn't steal it, but it's just such a fun move to throw out. Right. They are very good. Yeah, there's the down. Ah, <laughs> nice. Nice. Alright. Okay. okay. Who wrote that line? <laughs> Who let that in the final print of the game? Good. <laughs> what a victory screen. I mean, maybe they say it in their game, but... <laughs> Okay. Oh no, good. They are in their game. Tier wise. Because Robin's broken in Awakening. So. Oh no. Uh, on the tier list, they, they turn out. Oh, this person's a fan of the Fire Emblem franchise. They're playing Ike and Marth. Pretty cool. To up tilt, right? No, oh, wow. I could have converted to up tilt. Oh! Did you see the way Mars' body contorts? Someone help that man. Ambul- Medic! <laughs> they can be reversed to their neutral B as well. Uh, the plasma doesn't have that much priority to it though. Right? What was I waiting for? Okay. Me and my YOLO up Bs. Up throw kills too? Yeah. As you can see. So you can just chip away your opponent. Like. And just be so annoying. <laughs> and just keep all that wonderful range, right? They don't get much off a throw. Except stage positioning, which is important. You know, so. I'll do it again. Oh yeah, I went for it. See, I was trying to get cool stuff for you guys today. Oh yeah, there you go. Ooh, nice pivot grab. Okay. You can see uh, Backer, like, uh, send me a little far away. I went for it. <laughs> I tried. No, oh, uh. No! Yeah, I was trying to get the cool Corrin follow-ups that all the Corrin mains do, right? Nah, I thought for sure they would roll into it. That would have been hype if I got it, though. I've been getting reads like that lately. I got a whole bunch of Roy. Right? Bombus knows Blizzard. Move will pull you in. Nice. Wendy's origin. Oh, Wendy Koopa. Okay. It was like product placement. I really like the pink corn skin. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. So we got another one of those nice schemes right here. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got a nice player. They can reflect it. I mean, they can absorb it all they want. It doesn't matter. They're at zero, so. I hate this matchup for Ness. Just any sword fighter. I love playing Ness, but against sword fighters, not so much. That's like my least preferable matchup. So I checked like my uh, most played fires. I already recorded everyone. It's all done. Uh, I just need to do the commentary for right now. And Ness was like my third most played character somewhere around there. Yeah. He's like around that ballpark. I remember one day 
I just went for glory and I just played for hours and hours in S. That's when I really got better at spacing. As opposed to just mindlessly throwing out moves. Ah, like that. <laughs> huh. See, I don't know per the percentage is where a throw will kill, so I, I like to be extra safe for that. I'm pretty sure it will kill now. Mm, no! See, I think they nerfed... Oh, that would do it, though. See, I think they nerfed their kill throws as well, right? Right. Nerf, down to... Okay, trying to get a follow-up. Another one of those moves. Is there a jab? Right, I killed it 35. That that's a move that like it just sucks getting hit by that. Huh. Oh, was it good for you too? Okay. I can't say the same. Sadly. Yeah, here's the green corn skin. I just don't know if I like their haircut. It's the one theme. Like, male Robin, I think he's cool. I think it's cool character design. But this corn fellow? The male corn avatar, bro? I'm not taking the hair. It's the one theme. Everything else, whatever. Maybe put some shoes on. You know? I'm, ju I'm just thinking of his safety. Like, if you don't want to wear shoes, it's fine. But you gotta admit, like, some of these stages are just disgusting. Are just dirt. You know, and you're going to get dirty and it's gonna be gross. I oh, see the per- Oh, okay, that was kind of cute. It was- it was a little bit cute. Okay. Right. Uh, final JV3. It's not like it was too impressive or anything, though. They just got SD twice, let's be honest. Yeah, one last JV3 for the road. Hey, man, we take those. Okay. I wonder how many. Dude, we've gotten so many of those. Huh. On our, on our run, run through back through, uh. Our run back to Smash 4, right? Yeah. A lot of silly shenanigans, a lot of footstool kills. I've had fun. This is one of my favorite corn skins too, the uh, female, like, uh, kind of like grayish one. Yeah, I definitely appreciate this character a lot more nowadays. Not so much when they came out, I was a little more, like, into the idea of Bayonetta. Because, you know, at that point, I'd already played both of Bayonetta's games. But you all know how that turned out. She turned out to be, like, broken and, like, the best character in the game. So there was all that drama. And I think that's a big deterrence to why I was like, okay, I don't want to... I don't want to be around this anymore. That's why I took a big break after Bayonetta was released. Because I was like, I'm just so done. Just everything. I don't know. The fact that, like, there were so many... Mm. Like, can I... I'm not saying people weren't justified in Bayonetta, like, complaining about Bayonetta, okay? Because, yeah, she was broken. I, I can admit that, but... It, it just, the whole situation put a bad taste in my mouth. And people... Just came off so entitled and ungrateful, I guess. That's kind of a reoccurring thing every time I go back to Smash in the community and stuff. It's like, everyone's just like... Especially, like, more so even more so with Ultimate... You know, but you know, I've ranted about that enough, so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to complain to you guys too much, so yeah, yeah. I mean, at that point, I'd already made so many Smash videos as it was, so they actually died to forward tilt. Surprising. Oh, grab that ledge, boys. Boys and girls. Got herself so we we've seen an increase in the number of Rosalinas as opposed to before, huh? Oh, that was cool. Oh, this pissed me off. Oh, I got salty, dude. I was in a sour mood here today. Yeah, I get real mean. <laughs> I get real mean at this Rosalina. Right. At this point, I was just feeling sick and I was tired and it was super late. And I still had to, like, record other stuff, too. So 
Try didn't like the little like uh yeah. See? <laughs> right. Oh, I messed up Luma though. Okay. Ooh. Did I go for the side B off stage? I did. They did a little too low though. PM. People are gonna get mad at me. Dude, that was great, dude. I had a good time. Oh, <laughs> people are gonna get mad at me again. <laughs> Remember when Umbra Clock Tower came out and everyone's like, oh yeah, this is a legal stage. <laughs> With, like, the platform that's at the very, very top of the ceiling. Yeah. Pixel tricks, nice snap to side beams it again. I don't know why I got so good at that before. I just messed it up a couple times here today. Not too much. It's not a reoccurring thing. Because you got to side B and then immediately press A. That's how you get the sticky. That's what I thought it was doing. Ooh, okay, I like the falling up air. Ooh, see? Okay. Trying to get cool stuff off, uh... Oh, wow. Which time at, like, zero kind of cool down? It's because they were spamming it, yeah. Okay. Front throw? Get him off stage. It's pretty much, like, the best you could do with this character. Like I said, stage position. Right. We got everyone's favorite character next time. Not quite dead. Okay. Up throw maybe at this point? I would up throw. Up throw. I mean, I wasn't being super toxic. I just didn't like they were holding down on me. See, I didn't taunt there. I've been worse. I've definitely... I, I've been worse. Alright, so now I gotta look out for which side. Right. Nice up there for my opponent, dudes. Oh, wow. They got me. Front up. Oh, nice. Got the snipe. Okay. Oh, what a sidestep. We got no punish off it, though. Okay. Wow, damage. I would have been hype if I got that plasma. Wow. Oh, they had enough. Alright, dudes. Uh, that's it for corn. I guess we'll see how they turn out in Ultimate. And I'll see you tomorrow for everyone's favorite character. Alright, peace, dudes.